Hey guys, a little bit of a light rain. Go ahead and show you the start of the woodland garden for now. Got a little rhododendron blooming, about to bloom, I should say. Got a couple hydrangeas in here that are starting to poke through. Nice azalea right here. Looks nice in the rain. So I moved this over here. This so was marked as Bene Shishahenge. Maybe it's Katsura. Maybe it's something else. I don't really know. Very pretty fall color last year when we got it. Kind of just keep an eye on it. It's against this big tree here. So it'll definitely pop looking out the window. Heard people say sumagaki too, maybe. I don't know. We'll see. Over here, got Usu Midori. This is kind of like a chartreuse right now. Hoping that's gonna fade to a nice pale yellow. Pictures online make this look like a really cool tree. Be in some shade here, morning sun. So hopefully the right conditions. Into the mulch path so far. Here we've got Acer Sibolianum uh, Kamoi Nishki. You can already see the, the variegation on that. Putting on some nice new growth. Look at that. It's gonna look really good. Cleaned up a lot of this, but still have a lot of logs to move. All right, next, got this one fenced off. This is Acer Pictum uh, Kamasaka Nish uh, Nishiki. Hopefully the camera's picking up, but man, this thing, this thing really glows. This will be, this will fade to a, a green with swirling variegation. But man, this thing's leafing out like pink, peach, a little bit of green and white in there. And it is incredible. Definitely, so far, definitely recommend. Look at that. All right, moving on. This is Acer Palmatum uh, Peve Multicolor. Pretty green. First year with this, first spring. Had maybe a little bit early on, but you can kind of see a tiny bit in there. Not a whole lot, so not the best year for this, apparently. But you know, kind of similar vibes to Ukigumo, where Maybe it's seasonal and sometimes the color's better than others. A very tiny emerald lace down here. This thing will grow like a weed. So didn't mind just getting a tiny little whip. We'll see how this fills out this space with these natural rocks here covered in moss. Let that thing kind of grow. Maybe we'll put dirt, some dirt in there someday and something grow out over the rocks, but long way from that. I'm walking back up. So the Sarah U that's in other videos, is eventually gonna go right there. This hasn't leafed out yet. Uh, but this is Acer Pseudoplatinus-esque sunset. Pretty excited about this one. Uh, big leaves, a lot of variegation on it. Uh, but as this grows up, you're gonna get the, the pink undersides of the leaves. So kind of taking a step back, going downhill. So as you look up in the morning sun, that'll be uh, have a really, really nice pink glow on the under underside there. So late to leaf out, but buds are real swollen. So hopefully a couple days we'll see some leaves. And then lastly over here, and fenced off, we've got 
Acer Palmatum uh, Lillian's Jewel. This one's apparently a little more heat tolerant. So I do have it in just morning sun here. So see how long it holds the red color. Uh, but it's supposed to fade to a, you know, a green, red, pink uh, type deal. So we'll see. Maybe this gets moved up into the yard someday. Uh, but a really nice pop of color here at the beginning of the uh, woodland path. So with that, I'll walk back out. And there's the rest of the garden in the house. Thanks, guys.